Welcome to the Miami International Boat Show. 2020. We just got off the bus back there from the Brightline train station. And uh, it's about a 20, 30 minute ride from downtown over here to the main entrance. So we're gonna go inside, pick up our passes and head in. You ready? Yeah. All right. So there's no parking at the actual show. You need to park downtown, take the water taxi or a shuttle bus, or just come via public transit. So very important, you're not gonna find any parking unless you've prepaid valet. beautiful day here in Miami. They got all the sailing vessels all docked out right here. Everything from Catalinas to Sun Reefs. And we're gonna go out now and uh, do some exploring down the docks and see what they have. Let's go and check it out. We're at the Catalina Yachts booth and we're checking out the... New Catalina 545. This thing is awesome. Tons of space. It's a big boat. It's a whole lot of boat. It's very comfortable too. Yeah. yeah. All I, could, I could see us taking this thing home. What do you think? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> All the lines are led right in the cockpit here too, which is awesome. one of the aft cabins. Why are those things? We got a hatch we the the deck here. Yeah, so when you get done preparing the cocktails. Okay, we'll be up. Stop it. Oh yeah. You load all your food uh, right to here. Kind of watery. Yeah. Open that. I like blue cherry buckets. Place your food oh, in here. Good. Oh, okay. Well, there's hundreds to the bucket. And then just send it up. Set it up to the uh, cockpit. Uh, uh, Stop it. it. I think just for that I want this. That's awesome, huh? That's great. spacious this cockpit is. You can sit back here, entertain. There's a uh, cold plate right here. You can keep all your beer cold. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So, you just send it up from the bottom and grab your food right out here. I think we should get this thing. What do you think? Does it suit me? Yeah. 
I think it suits me. Let's go and uh, find out the price. All right. I don't want to find out the price. <laughs> Here's a fun little boat. This is the Vico S26. We're gonna go on board and check it out. It's got a roomy top in there. Yeah. Does it really? Well, well, two burners, a sink. Maybe. This isn't bad. <laughs> I think for 30 grand, that's only a little 26 footer. No this... air conditioning though. No. But there's a head. It does have a head. Is there a shower? Um, it no. Look, it looks to be like a wet head, but I don't see the, uh, I don't see a, a shower head. No. That doesn't look very fun to sleep on. Look under there. Oh, wow, that's big. Well, there's no, I said it's an outboard for power, so there's no engine room or anything down here. Nice. Oh, a little stove. Oh. A little storage. Well, it's amazing how the prices, like, just go up four times the amount as soon as you start getting into a little bit bigger boat, you know? Yeah, but there's not many, many frills to this. No. Is and there, I think that's why. Is there anything underneath there? No. That might be that might be it though. It seems very like value. Yeah. There's okay. There's a little storage there and then. But like, where would you put a cooler? Maybe there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. There's not much other than a gas burner. Yeah. You know, maybe there's a little water tank. Yeah. Okay. It's 100 grand. Is it? It's adorable. 98,000 euro. I said I could just sit right here and have another beer in Mexico, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's 30, 31 feet. This is plenty for running around the Keys and, you know, overnight, and going to dry tortugas or whatnot. Oh, that's 875 a month based on 172 at 20% down. So 170s. This is new Beneteau Oceanus 30.1. Oh, this is nice and cozy. The kitchen's cute. It's doable. There's, oh, there's a little oven underneath it, too. Yeah. I can't open it. It might be, oh, that's got it's a lot. Everything's got a lock on it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's fantastic. Look at this little head. There's a little, little shower right here. See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so That's it's a wet head. I feel a nice draft coming through here. Only thing is, yeah, I gotta have air conditioning. There's no air conditioning? No. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night without an AC. Yeah, that is a little bit of a problem. But once you're out in the water, it's a lot cooler, though, you know? Awesome catamarans. We're gonna come aboard and check out what they brought to the show. I'm sold already. Solar on the 
route. And it's only like a 38 footer, I think. Some of that effect, but it's, these cats, they're so beaming, you know? There's just tons of space. Shallow draft. It's got uh, two Yamaha 25 high thrust uh, drives. stuff we went and did the Hobie tent we saw the Catalina yachts booth a lot of cool stuff we're gonna be back here on Saturday to take in everything else we missed awesome time you see us say hi and we'll see you on our next adventure bye